Maggie see them all at once. When does she do back? This morning. Please, God. Lousy advice, Maggie. You can't pull a promising ball player out of the league just because he's a little temperamental. Jimmy's a nine-year-old kid in Little League. And according to his mother, he's an impossible breath. Because he thinks he's a big league star. Are those for me? No. Good to have you back, Maggie. Thank you. What else could I advise her? Well, to show a little patience and understanding. A kid hitting 673 is bound to be a little high strung. Tim, you're only a sports editor. You're not a talent scout for the Dodgers. Yeah, well, I should be. And you never know where the next Babe Ruth is coming from. What good is a new Babe Ruth if, if he turns out to be a rotten human being? If he's that bad, we can always send him to you for advice. Maggie, you I want to see in your office as soon as I finish this dumb meeting. Why, yes, Walter, thank you. I had a wonderful time. Of course, it's always nice to be back. Right. Bye. Oh, how was it? Great. Welcome home. Oh. Really great? Oh, nice, nice. Well, I want to hear all about Tahiti from top to bottom. Right after we handle a couple hundred of those. Uh, Maggie, this is Sergeant Neely. He's been waiting to see you. And that's Corky. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Maggie Dale's office. Yes, ma'am. You two together? No. I want to talk to you about my daughter. Oh. Well, then, better get rid of this. Hold on. Maggie, it's Jim Roberts in business affairs. He says he's got to talk to you. Of course. Can I make a call? Sure. Let's just... Here. There you go. Right. Rita, what's the dog doing here? Beats me. Somebody named Fred Whitley left him here early this morning. Fred Whitley? He said you'd understand. Jim! Yeah, Baker, this is Sergeant Neely. Get me a status report, will you? No problem. Uh, tons of them. Yes. I'm sure you'll just have a wonderful time. You're welcome. Tons of what? Tons of single girls in Tahiti. He's going there next month. Speaking of which... What? You know action in the South Pacific. There must be some hot little affair you want to tell me about. Nope. And that's a vacation? Don't start. Should have gone with Nick. He's starting. Uh, what's that? Oh, Marvin. The god of good luck. Marvin? That may not be his real name. Well, yeah. Oh, this is for you. Well, all right, give me a quick rundown, will you? Oh, love it. <laughs> oh, Maggie, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Mag, maybe you ought to give him a call. Let him know you're back. Rita, I went off on my own to discourage Nick, remember? Case closed. You sure you want to discourage him? Sure, I'm sure. I'd stop all this. I wouldn't want to have Mary bog me down. I wouldn't mind getting bogged down with Nick. Rita, you've got a husband. Not necessarily. He's, he's okay. I mean, actually, Nick's very sweet. Except he's just not sensational, right? Who said he's not sensational? Rita, you're bugging me. What about the second shift? Keep me away from these. Boy, did I pig out in Tahiti. Fred Whitley. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. Fred Whitley. Well, yeah, but... The bartender who hated bartending asked me for advice, wanted to open a kennel, so I gave him encouragement. This is his little way of saying thank you. Baker, will you... Well, isn't that nice? Now you have a dog. Even though they aren't allowed in your building. Okay, goodbye. I'll take it out there. Uh, so you were starting to say something about your daughter, Sergeant? I sure was. She wrote to you for advice. And the advice you gave her stinks. Yes, uh, well, I make a mistake every now and then. Well, she asked you about moving out of the house and living on her own. You thought it was a good idea. So now she's got her own apartment. I think I remember. Uh, overprotective cop's daughter. 